teacher Jane Moore and in this video we will be discussing all about the first topic in general mathematics. If you are an upcoming grade 11 student then you should watch this video. Join me and it might help you in your struggles in math. Let us start by the way for, the, for those who are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe. Okay now let's start. The first topic is all about function. Before we discuss function, let us review all about set. Set is a collection of well-defined objects. If you mention of well-defined, you may be able to know whether a given element is part of the set or not part of the set. And set might might be a collection of things students objects or it might be set of numbers uh, set can be described into two ways it can be described using the rule method so in the rule method you are going to describe so say for example you have x element of the natural number such that x is less than or equal to 5 so that is one way of describing set or set can also be described using the rooster method in the rooster method you are going to enumerate so say for example the same so you are going to enumerate those natural numbers less than or equal to 5 you may have 1 2 3 4 and 5 so that is now set after recalling for a set we may we will also recall of all about relation relation or also known as rule we will have a relation or a rule if we consider two sets the input which is called the domain and the output which is called the codomain so if we assign one element from the domain at least one element in the domain to at least one element of your codomain then that will be called as a relation so you may you may assign all elements of your domain or you may not assign all of those that is a relation and a relation can be defined or denoted by by letters in the alphabet or even Greek letters. One so. function is a relation in which each element of your domain is assigned to a unique element in your codomain. So to understand it thoroughly, let us consider let us consider two conditions before we can say that it is a function two conditions must be satisfied so let us illustrate it clearly so if you consider function it must be a relation it means you assign element from your domain say a going to your codomain say b so each first condition in function is each element of the domain must be used. So, dapat lahat ng element ng A ay magagamit, ma-assign going into B. So, first condition, dapat all elements of your domain must be used, must be assigned. Second condition, each of these elements must be assigned into one element of your codomain so say for example we will also have here like this so this is a b c d and it might be say one two three so say for example in our function we assign a going to one b is assigned to three C is assigned to 2 and D is assigned to 3. Now, this is a function. Why? First, 
in the first condition, it is stated that each element of your domain must be assigned. So it means all elements of your domain is assigned to elements or element in your codomain. Second condition, each of these elements is assigned uniquely. If you mention of uniquely, the assignment is only one. It is not possible that A is assigned to 1, at the same time, it is assigned to 2. If that will happen, it is not a function. It is just a relation. So in this case, A is just assigned to only one value, which is 1. B is assigned to only one value, which is 3. And C is assigned to only one value, which is 2. And D is assigned to only one value, which is 3. Now, the question is, how about B is assigned to 3? And D is also assigned to 3. It will not matter because in the condition of function, all elements must be used. Second, each assignment is unique. Clear? Okay, that is a function. Let us consider this example. Let us determine whether the fun, uh, the the assignment say let us call this as G. This rule G is a function or not. So it is very clear that it is a rule or a mere relation or a relation because we assign elements from A, the domain A, going to your codomain which is B. So is it a function or not? I'll give you time to think about it. Okay, first condition. The first condition is all elements of your domain must be used. Let us consider one, two, three. All of them are being used. So no problem with the first condition. Second condition. Each element of your domain is assigned uniquely. Dapat isa lang ang kanilang assignment. One is assigned to seven only. Two is assigned to five only. And three is assigned to six only. So, we satisfy the second condition. So, no problem with the first and the second condition. So, it is very clear this G is a function. How about this rule R? Is it a function or not? I'll give you five seconds. Mm. Is it a function? Okay, let us consider the two conditions. First condition, each element of the domain, say A, must be used. One is assigned, two, yes, as well as three. So no problem with the first condition. Second condition, the assignment of each element of your domain is unique. The assignment of one is only 10. The assignment of 2 is 10 only. The assignment of 3 is 10 only. Therefore, this is, yes, you're correct. It is a function. So, many to 1 is a function. Okay? That is a function. How about this rule, M? Is it a function or not? Five seconds. Okay, first condition. All elements of your domain say A must be used. Yes, we have only one element and it is assigned to element in your domain. Actually, elements of your codomain, rather. So, no problem with the first condition. Second condition, the assignment of each element of your domain must be unique. Now, 1 is assigned to 1. 1 is assigned to 2. 1 is assigned to 3. So, it means it is violating the rule number 2 that the assignment of this element is unique. Therefore, this is not a function. It means one to many 
is not a function. But many to one is a function. How about this? F. Is it a function or not? 5 seconds. Okay, first condition. All elements of your domain must be used. Can you observe? 1 is assigned, 2 is assigned, 3. Yes, how about 4? We have one element in your domain which is not used. It means it is violating the first rule. So by that, automatically, it is not a function. How about this? G. Is it a function? 5 seconds. Okay. First condition. All elements of, your do of domain must be used. 1 is used. 2 as well as 3. No problem with the first condition. How about the second condition? The assignment of 1 is unique. 1 is assigned to 5. 2 is, is assigned to 6 only. 3 is assigned to 6 only. So it means it satisfies the two conditions, the first and the second condition. So therefore, it is a function. How about this one? Is R a function or not? 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Condition 1. All elements of your domain must be used. 1 is assigned, 2, and 3. No problem with the first condition. Second condition. Is the assignment of 1 unique? Yes. Is the assignment of 2 unique? Yes. Is the assignment of 3 unique? Yes. So it means it is a function because it satisfies the first and the second condition. Now the question is, how about this? It will not matter anymore because from the definition of function, we base it into the definition of function that first condition, all elements must be used. And if all elements must be used, then the assignment of each element is unique. In this case, this is a function.